Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action. And today we're going to be looking at the 10th week of Nightwave. Now remember, we used to think that there was 10 weeks of Nightwave, but now there's at least 12 weeks of Nightwave. So we're now further than three quarters of the way. So let's have a look at where we are up to. I am already way past. I'm in prestige mode. Uh, let's crack open the calculator. We are now up to week 10 of a potential 12 weeks. So by the end of this week, you should be up to uh, rank 25, where you will be getting your Arcane Energize. Arcane Energize is a super useful Arcane. Uh, I use it on just about every Warframe outside of maybe Hildren, no, outside of Hildren for sure. Um, and there's maybe one or two other Warframes that I don't bother using Arcane Energize on because they're really, really good at being Rage Tanks. Uh, one in particular I could think of maybe would be uh, Garuda. Probably don't need Arcane Energize for her because she can basically make her own energy really easily. Alrighty. Otherwise, uh, we'll have the Saturn 6 scene, you'll have some more credits, and you'll have Arcane Energize. Great! Okay, so as per usual, we're going to go through all of the weekly challenges and then talk about the three elite weekly challenges that are 5,000 points each. If you have already made it to level 30, you probably don't need to worry about any of this anymore. Uh, otherwise, you can worry about this for shits and giggles. If you haven't made it yet, again, by the end of this week, you'll be aiming to reach level 25. So, good luck. Alrighty, let's jump right into it with the first of the weekly challenges being Cash Hunter. Find three cash, find all caches rather, in three sabotage missions. So most sabotage missions, not all of them, but most sabotage missions have caches. You'll find a distinct humming, a distinct sound that comes from those caches when you're near them. So you should be able to find them if you look around. You'll know if the mission has caches because it'll be like this little side thing on the left side of the screen. The next one is Enhance. Pick up eight rare mods. Turns out that this includes mods that you can pick up for sure from things like uh, challenge rooms in Lua as well as various other missions that will reward you with uh, rare mods. I think Arbitrations is one of them that will give you rare mods from time to time. If you're lucky enough, I have actually received quite a few rare mods, namely Adaptation and Rolling Dodge. The ro rolling, the invulnerable rolling dodge, whatever the hell it's called, that that particular mod, I've received those ones quite a few times. Uh, so you should be able to get this pretty easily by maybe just playing Lua. All right, the next one is going to be Brodecta, a complete three mobile defense missions. As per usual, these kinds of these kinds of challenges are really easy to complete. You'll probably be able to complete this by the end of the week through your sorties alone. If not, there is always plenty of mobile defense missions from your syndicates. The next one is sortie specialist complete one whole sortie. That'll take you a grand total of one whole day to complete. So if you finish the war within, as always, you have sorties to do. Pick one and you'll complete this particular weekly challenge really easily. Alright, the next one is Venus Bounty Hunter. Complete 8 bounties in the Orb Valis. As per usual, it seems like completing the super duper easy ones is the fastest way to do this, but I prefer to do one or two a day. Just spread it out as always. Hopefully they'll fix this with the next night wave, like not the next week's night, night wave, but the actual next night wave per se. But otherwise, uh, yeah, this one's particularly pretty easy to do as well. Um, especially if you kind of enjoy that open world mission type of thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, the next one is Venus Fisher. Complete six, oh sorry, catch six rare servo fish in the Orvalis. Your rare servo back. fish, as always, we're going to go to buy fish tank in the operator room. The operator's quarters, rather. Your rare fish include your caramote, that's this big long one right here. Your tromazon, that's this uh, sort of slender long one with a big ass tail, that's right there. And you've got your synethid, that's the circular one right there. Those are your rare servo fish from the Orb Valis. As always, you'll find it's best to fish them in the pond, the pond rather, the cave, the cave with a lake that is home to the almighty now, mushroom, hail to the mushroom. So the that is in fact, oops, that is in fact uh, the one, the place that you want to fish from. 
Alrighty, let's talk about the next one, which is Venus Miner. Mine six rare gems or ores in the Orb Valus. I have no idea if there is a particular cave that is really, really good about this. If this was, in fact, the Plains of Eidolon, that I would obviously have a cave of of particular interest but in the orb phallus i'm not 100 percent sure you'll probably have to look around for that but it should be reasonably easy to do this especially with the mining system that came with uh fortuna it's really really good all right the first elite weekly challenge is kill the profit taker with friends kill the profit taker while playing with a friend or clan mate so if you have a friend who has completed all well first off you need to have a friend who has um reached the maximum rank in Fortuna before being able to take part in the various missions uh, in the back room uh, then you can get your friend to join you and fight the profit taker they have, they have to do the first three uh, heist missions before they are able to fight the profit taker at will so yeah, there's a bit of there's a bit of thing the bit of stuff that you need to do if you're going to do this particular one but otherwise you can just fight the profit taker whenever the next one is silent eliminator so this is probably the first time i have seen this oh no this might be the second time complete an extermination mission with level 30 or higher enemies without being detected i might actually do a video um sort of demonstrating how to do something like this uh because it's kind of fun it does make you like practice your stealth stealthiness so definitely something worth checking out and definitely something worth practicing uh, it's kind of fun and probably a bit of a different experience in the game trying to be as stealthy as possible without using without using a stealth frame i am going to be doing this i'm going to be demonstrating how to complete something like this because this is also a common uh riven challenge uh to complete an extermination mission at level 30 or higher without being detected so good time as any to demonstrate how to do this without having to use a stealthy frame alrighty and finally we have sortie with friends complete a sortie while playing with a friend or clan mate this one obviously will work with sortie specialist so grab your friends do a sortie knock knock out a thousand points worth of shenanigans and move on okay hope you guys enjoy this let me know what you think about this week's sorties nothing oh sorties rather the, let me know what you guys think about this week's challenges nothing too difficult except maybe this one and on rare occasion maybe that one but otherwise all pretty straightforward anyway hope you guys enjoy this if you did hit the like button if you really enjoy it maybe consider subscribing to the channel and as always i'll see you guys later thanks for watching Bye.